Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So this video will be a screencast solution of uh, today's lead code problem of the day which is eliminate maximum number of monsters and it is going to be a medium level problem. So a screencast basically means that I have not solved this problem till now and I uh, will be reading this problem and solving this problem live and then later in the end of the video I will also include a brief explanation to what I tried to do if I am able to solve the problem obviously. And uh, let's just quickly start with this uh, problem. It says that we have been playing a video game and uh, there is a zero index array distance. We have distance of i is the initial distance of the monster. Okay. So we have been given some monsters and their distances. And they are moving at a constant speed towards the city. We have been given the speed of the monster and uh, speed of i is the speed of the ith monster. Uh, our weapon can eliminate a single monster however the weapon takes one minute to charge when the weapon is fully charged and the weapon is fully charged at the start right okay we will lose when any monster reaches the city at the exact moment when the weapon is fully charged it is counted as a loss okay cool so as soon as someone reaches that's that's cool So let's just take some examples from here. So let's say this one, right? The distance is 3 to 4 and the speed is 5, 3, 2. So if the distance is 3, 2, 4 and the speed is 5, 3, 2. Right. So this monster will take exactly one second. Right. At the zeroth second, we have our bat, uh, weapon charge. This monster will take exactly one second. This should also take one second. This should take exactly two seconds, right? So maybe we can uh, try to calculate what is the minimum amount of time, uh, one second or one minute, whatever the unit of time it is, and we can calculate the time they will take to reach our city. And we are already at the city at the zero instance. We have our weapon charged. We know if we fire this, our weapon will be re ready at the first second now. Right, so this should be different than one. So let's just uh, try to do this. So I'm going to create a vector. First of all, I'm just going to take the size of distance or size, right? And I'm just going to create vector in time. So this is going to be the time it will it is going to take them to reach the starting point or the city. So for all the values. So what I'm going to do is, since time is equals to distance upon speed, and uh, I would want to take the ceiling value, right? I don't want to calculate the exact double or uh, the floating point. I want to take the ceil value. So that is that time of i is going to be distance of i plus speed of i minus one divided by speed of i. So whenever you want to calculate the ceil value, you can use this method. If you want to calculate the C value of a by b, it is going to a it is going to be equals to a plus b minus 1 by b. Right. So I believe this this, this time is correct. And uh, what I can do is I can just sort the time. Right. Now I have my current time. So it is equal to 0. Now I'm just going to traverse the time and uh, my answer is going to be 0 right now. So what I am essentially going to do is if i is less than current time then I am going to increment my answer and increment my current time otherwise I am just going to break from here. Right. So I write break here and I can just return my answer. So this seems fine. Let us just try to run it. So we are getting wrong answer on some outputs. Let's see what it is. If I oh, okay, so first of all, this shouldn't be current is less than i. Right. So this is the first thing. And uh, let's just try to run it now. Let's see what happens. So it is getting accepted here. I'm just quickly submitting it, and we'll see. Okay, so it is accepted, and this is the correct solution, intended solution, I believe. 
so basically uh, what happens is we it's just a simple greedy problem and we are just uh, trying to find out the time each monster will take to reach the city right so we have been given the distance we have been given the time or oh, sorry we have been given the speed so we are just calculating the time from it and uh, we are going to calculate the seal value of this particular value right since it is going if if we calculate the seal value it is going to be the time at which the monster at least reaches the city right otherwise it, there, there could be situation like for example if the distance is 5 and the speed is 2 right so in one second it will cover two distance in two seconds it will cover two distance again so our, at the end of two seconds it is going to be still at a distance of 1 right so we should not count this right and we cannot obviously take 2.5 right so we are just going to take 3 instead of it so if you fit it in the formula which i told you which is 5 plus uh, 2 minus 1 by 2 right so it is going to be 7 minus 1 is 6 so 6 by 2 is 3 right so you get the seal value once you have got the seal value you can just sort all of them to so that you have all of them in arranging uh, increasing order and then you can see that if your current time is less than i because uh, this is the condition because they have said that uh, we are going to lose if the uh, weapon is fully charged exactly at the moment when the monster arrives right so this current time should be less than i right this is the time when our weapon is ready otherwise uh, if it is true i am going to increment my answer and i am just going to increment my current value otherwise i'm just going to break so i believe that was it for this video i hope you guys were able to understand the solution and if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, you have very super powers your like can really make this video go a long way on youtube and it will help the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you so i'll be trying to make more such videos and i'll be also making similar videos for geeks for geeks for the day as well so uh, stay tuned for that and uh, to the next video drops keep, stay safe keep coding bye bye